Hello everyone, this is Airhurst 3 and welcome to part 9 of our Mass Effect 3 Let's Play. Last time we uh, recruited Commander Javik, the last Prothean, and uh, now we're gonna go a bit, go do a little bit more scanning, you know, because uh, we just did a mission, so there should be some uh, systems we can scan in without the Reapers trying to kill us immediately again. That's always nice. Such as over here in Asgard. Faster than light jump successful. Evasion successful. This one's going to be interesting to try and get away from. Reapers there we go. Oh man, there's still stuff there though. Faster than light jump successful. Evasion successful. Reapers eluded. Faster than light jump successful. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get at that right now. Evasion successful. Oh well, we can come back for it later. I don't think there's any other systems here. Check out Hades Gamma. So there's still something left here. Reapers eluded. Faster than light jump successful. They uh, speed up the monitor here, doing stuff. Evasion successful. Apparently. Reapers eluded.
faster than light jump successful. Oh, I can't find that. Evasion successful. Let's go uh, turn in these quests on the Citadel. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? I need to get to the embassies. Yes, Commander. Apparently, I can't turn this stuff in yet. Oh well. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. Arriving at docking bay oh. D20. Let's see. I have these. Okay. That is someone in Citadel. Plus a strength. We might be able to give that to the doctor. This I don't really know what we can do about. But we can level up. So damage protection or shield restoration. Four. Let's go see if we Welcome can give that uh, Amanda Gel thing to moment, Dr. Please. Michelle. Hello again, Commander. Here to see our patient? How is Ashley doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quick. These types of... You can go see her if you like. She's just down the hall. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Looks like we already uh, did that. Let's see if we can find someone in here that's willing to take it. But I think we'll have to go to... Palavin first. Oh, we'll find out. You can replace my leg, right? Yes. But clone tissue replacement takes months. You'll need a prosthetic. Oh, no. I highly recommend talking to our resident psychiatrist before the operation. These 
won't let me see Ashley. Okay, so yeah, we'll definitely have to go to Paladin first. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please, so one moment. Let's go see if Liara has anything to say. Dr. Tassoni found useful information in the data you recovered, Commander. So we can get weapon damage or ammo. Since we're going with a weapon damage build this time. Uh, last time I actually did an ammunition build, which was interesting. Hmm. Let's get power cooldown. Hello again, Shepard. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. So is that drone your new secretary? Glyph is a VI shell that indexes my search functions on the data feeds. I couldn't work without it. Although, I'm lucky Edie let Glyph on board after it tried to rewrite her scheduled tasks. I was merely attempting to standardize the ship's automated systems to our own, Dr. Tassoni. Yes, that's precisely why you're confined to the cabin. <laughs> What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been... exciting. The old broker's ship. Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferron and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus' ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Ferron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Ferron didn't report any injuries during his last call to your doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been... exciting. The old broker's ship? Impressive, but it was never meant oh, to be whoops. space, which meant the elusive... What happened? I knew he... We got away from Cerberus' ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars. I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. Cool. Another Prothean notes entry.
I, so I wanted to go over here and see what's available for bonus powers and uh, resetting my points. It's possible to get armor piercing ammo. Wait, can I get more than one bonus power? Ah, uh, no. No, no, no. Okay. When you buy one, it, uh... Basically, because there's Dark Channel back there. Cool. Good to know. To reset my powers. First reset is free, but I wanted to take the points out of Sticky Grenade and put them in Defense Matrix. Weapon damage or power duration. Squadmate weapon damage. Weak capacity. Sniper damage, or power dungeon. Right on. So you can do more damage from this defense matrix or shield recharge. Let's try the compact radius. And look, I still have Sticky Grenade. There we go. How are you, Commander? Let's 
head down to the shuttle bay and see what <laughs> new weapons and gear and upgrades we can buy. Here. They're everywhere. You just get taken to. I can't just sit here doing nothing. I love you, but I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. No, don't. Commander. Sorry. Didn't see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I... lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. You were talking with him when the Collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the Collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. Sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits, there's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I've never felt as alone as I do right now. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here. Anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard. I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. Poor Steve. And nothing all that interesting. I don't have the other stores unlocked because the rest of the Citadel is still closed right now. Revenant upgrade. Okay, we can upgrade the particle rifle some more. Maybe I'll show you that a or show you that a bit on uh, Palavan. It's weird. It doesn't actually use ammunition. It's a uh, heating. Kind of like in Mass Effect 1, the way it worked. I want to upgrade the face stim more, but I won't let me. So we did that, and the Revenant is too expensive right now to do that on as well, so, alright, cool. Let's, uh, check out Pulse Rifle. So, this is my face in here. We'll, uh, go find the Pulse Rifle, which is right there. Or Particle Rifle, my bad. It doesn't really seem to have a stability problem. I wonder if that would actually make a difference since it doesn't use ammo. Maybe it allows it to have larger uh, amount of overheating before it uh, overheats. Who knows? Definitely do an extended barrel. And yeah, let's try the magazine upgrade. Should be interesting. shall see what it does. To the CIC. Okay, but that's where we're going to end this episode. That was uh, part 9 of our Mass Effect 3 Let's Play. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I am Aris 3 and I'll see you guys next time.